to be here, Lori Tisch, Shortland, Gary Witzenberg, uh, Jeff Gilbert are going to come up. And we have a short everything a little bit here, but the... Isn't it exciting to get this thing started off again, the international show, people together. It's great seeing everyone, our friends together again today. Thank you so much for coming. We're at the 2022 North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan, and it's back for the first time since 2019. It used to be in January, and now it's moved to this new fall date. This show is a lot more consumer focused. It used to be kind of a crown jewel of the, of the auto show circuit in terms of the debuts and the executives and the companies that were here. And there's a long term trend for automakers to pull back from that sort of expensive production to show off a new model. And that's definitely evident here where there's uh, you know, less of an automaker presence. There's a lot more cars on the floor for public visitors to see, but not as much of the flashy concept cars or important vehicle debuts. The show's a little more spread out, and automakers have taken that opportunity to do a little more with their displays. So Ford has a big active uh, ride-alongs in a Bronco where you go over an off-road course. Probably the flashiest car here is the Lincoln L100. It has uh, you know, all kinds of openings and glass and big doors and swoopy. It looks like something from the future or a concept that you usually only see on a computer screen. 